the names of two men brave and true, of two heroes who fought for their sail proudly on through the night, and the thought never dawned for a moment that this was to be their last flight. A great crowd was waiting to greet them in an old New York town far away. There was one girl from England, another from Wales, and the one that resided in Scotland for days. We sat down in friendship, we drank of the wine. Each told of their countries, I told them of mine. The rose we can still and conquered on sea. But says I, here's a toast from an Irish guy. Scotch lassie stood with pride in her eye, saying, here's to the tistle, no Scotch man would deny. The English girl then gave a toast to the rose, saying, here's to old England, she can thrash all her foes. My own, I'm a traitor, I'm fond of the rose. It's the fairest of flowers in the garden that grows from the heart of an Irish cow. Why don't you wait, you lazy dog, you hear to our sound? Alas, I had been dreaming about long years ago. I awoke before Sebastopol. We had a large fortune and riches I had known. And that's the reason I must go from Erin's love. It was in her father's garden, or in the mountain, to let you hear. In less than two hours after, her father did appear. He marched me back to Homeward Jail in the county of Tyrone, and there I was transported. She came up to the jail, those words to me did say, Cheer up your heart, don't be dismayed, for I'll not you disown, Until you do return again to Aaron's lovely home. Gina, come on. She's graceful and she's charming like the lily. Hey.